Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid-Journey version 5 tutorial. Going to show you how to create consistent characters. Now, do note up front that you don't always get 100% perfect consistency, but we'll get very, very good consistency. And I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. So the first step is you got to think about what kind of character you want. I'm going to go, I'm going to type in forward slash imagine, and then I'm going to create a character by Charlie Bowater, a young woman with red hair, white t-shirt, blue pants, Pink Boots Cyberpunk. So that's my style. I'll just, just go with that. Now, while that loads, I'll show you another resource here. So I'm going to go over to my Google Chrome, and you'll notice here that I'm on a website called midlibrary.io. If you're ever stuck and you're not sure if you what kind of character you want to create, or maybe you want to create a character that you saw in a magazine or in a comic book, what I do is I go to this website, and then I'll go to Illustrators down here, or you can go to All Styles and click on Illustrators. And then you can just take a look here at a few different options. For example, if I sort of flick through here, art germ is a very, very popular uh, term people use, an artist that they use. We go through a little further. You'll see the one that I just use is down here somewhere. There is Charlie Bowater, but maybe you want Gerald Brom or, or any of these things. You can go here and select them and use them. So I created a character by Charlie Bowater. Let's go back to Discord and Mid Journey and see what we got. So it rolled it. Here we go. So we've got these four options. Let's take a look here. I like I like them all, actually. These are really, really good. Holy smokes. Um, for this one, I'm going to go with the bottom U4. And the only reason why is because this one is looking directly at the camera. And they tend to be easier to work with. But all four of these are fantastic. So the next step is not clicking on upscale fours. Actually, right-clicking on this grid. And what we need to do is we've got to take the seed number. So we need to go ahead and add a reaction, either click that envelope and it'll send us the seed, or alternatively, you could right click on it and then go down here to, uh, where is that, apps, DM results, they do the same thing. But what we're looking for is this number here. So right clicking on it, we've got the seed number. Now I like to just copy that seed and I'm gonna put it into the chat. So I'm just gonna type it in here, so I've got it. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and grab this here, which we used earlier, a character by Charlie Bowater, Cyberpunk, etc., etc. I'm going to put that into the chat. Okay, good. Now that we've got those two done, now I'm going to go back to this grid of four, this grid of four, and I'm going to click on upscale four or up sample four, however you want to describe it. And it's going to go ahead and give us our character. There we go. Next step, I'm going to hover my mouse over top of her, and I'm going to right click, and then I'm just going to copy that link. So we've got the link to her. Now we want to go ahead and start making various, uh, you know, poses of her and various iterations. So we're going to go forward slash imagine. And then the next step is to copy that link that we just saved in here. So I'm going to copy that link and that's a link to this image directly. Then you hit space bar and then I'm going to go ahead and copy in the the prompt that we use to create this character. So it's all this stuff here, character by Charlie Bowwater, etc. I'm going to copy that in. Then I'm going to hit space. And then I'm going to copy in the seed here that we saved earlier. So this is what we do for the last step. Dash dash seed is what you type in. And then we're going to copy that seed number in. So we've got the image link. We've got the description of what we did to get that image. And we've got the seed number in it. Now the next step is we can go ahead and add in something like an expression. So for this one, or a pose or something like that. So I like to put that early on. So young woman with red hair. And then I'm, after the red hair, I'm going to go running with a scared expression, comma, space, white t-shirt, etc., etc., and hit enter on that. Now, I'm going to come back when that's done, and we're going to compare it to the original image and see what we got. All right, welcome back. So we did it, and we have her running with a scared expression. This was the original image. Keep that in the back of your head. And now let's look at the new variations. So I can automatically tell the first one on the top left is no good. Uh, the second one is not bad. It, the bottom one, no, the bottom third one here is pretty good. So we have her now in a running pose. And I would, of course, click on U3. If you don't like the look, again, I'm looking at the original to see what we got, just so I can compare the two. If you don't like it or it's not quite where you want it, like her legs look to be a little bit bigger in the third one here in the running pose maybe that's because she's been working out i don't know you can click on make variations and you can go in there and make some adjustments so instead of running i would running 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 fast with a scared expression something like that i can make a small change to it 
But this is how you go ahead and create consistent characters in different poses. So I could put one with an angry face. I could put one with a scared face, with a smiling face. You go in there and you just make those adjustments. But those are the main techniques you need to use. Thanks for watching.